When police arrived at the Dothan home on the 200 block of 5th Avenue, they found Jasmine Bean and Jalexis Wells dead from gunshot wounds. Neither Bean nor Wells lived at the home. Oliver Jr. was named a suspect by police this morning. Almost three hours ago, police confirmed that he had been taken into custody. He is now being held in the Southeast Alabama Diversion Center here in Dothan. Several photos of Oliver Jr. show him holding guns. He has been charged as a juvenile in the case, and this is not his first run-in with the law. He had active juvenile pickup orders of attempted assault first degree and one count of discharging a firearm into an occupied vehicle from July of this year. Yo, YouTube, you too. What's going on? Trey back again. Thank y'all with another video. Hope y'all are having a very great day. Hope y'all are having a very great week also. My day is going absolutely magnificent. Big shout out to all the channel members. All subscribe to the other Trey King Show family. And much love to each and every last one of you all. And you all, before I start this story, I want to say happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Hope y'all had a great holiday. And hope y'all enjoy your weekend. Don't eat too much. And also, make sure you throw some of that food out. If you're keeping that food over two or three days, please throw that food out come Sunday or Monday, because some of y'all keep that food for a whole year or two. Throw that food away. But anyway, I want to send a shout out to the channel members and also to the subscribers of the Trey King Show family for sending me this story right here, because it's very sad what took place in this story. Now, before I start this story, I want to send my condolences out, number one, to the family of Jasmine Bean and also Jalex as well, because it's very sad what happened to these two young ladies. But this goes to show you why I tell you all that you must be careful of your surroundings at all times. Now, true enough, like I tell you all these stories, you cannot prevent everything, but a lot of these things we can't prevent. Now, my question is also, you know, the star of the hour, who goes by the name of Vincent Oliver Jr. So if there's a junior, guess what that means? That means there's a senior. Now, I don't know if senior is in jail or uh, deceased or whatnot, because evidently Vincent Oliver Jr. has been doing what the hell he's been wanting to do. Now, I don't know where his parents said, like I said a couple seconds ago, but one thing about it. Everybody, yes, everybody dropped the ball, including the Dalton, Alabama Police Department. And also, this story comes out of Alabama by way of Dalton. And big shout out to everybody in the great state of Alabama, everybody in the great city of Dalton. Now, if you have a 14-year-old boy, yeah, boy, taking pictures all over social media with a gun, my first question is this right here. Who in the hell gave him the gun? Who has given him these guns because it's not the same gun? And also, who is the person taking these pictures? And also, who car is this Vincent Oliver Jr. is in the backseat of, you know what I'm saying, with weapons or whatnot? So you mean to tell me you have a 14-year-old boy in Dalton, Alabama, causing this much hell, taking pictures all over social media, and also videos of him posing with guns? My first question, like I told you all, who in the hell gave Vincent Oliver Jr. the gun? But at the same time, where in the hell was the parents? But I will tell you this also, all this could have been prevented if Vincent Oliver Jr. would have been locked up earlier this year. Because he already had two warrants out for him, and the police was looking for him. Now, I don't know why he wasn't picked up, but the two warrants that he had out of him were for discharging a gun into an occupied vehicle. That goes to show you right there how crazy and loose this young man was. Now, a lot of people can blame social media. A lot of people can blame music, movies, or whatnot. I blame it all. You know what I'm saying? More so the music and also these movies and some of these video games also because these kids think that they are living in Grand Theft Auto. Let's just be for real. But come to find out, life is no Nintendo game. You know what I'm saying? Because you only get one chance. Now, why did Vincent Oliver Jr., who happened to be 14-year-old, commit these crimes? We do not know. But one thing about it, some people you can help, some people you cannot help. But at the same time, like I told you all, all of this could have been prevented if the authorities and also if his guardians, if he does have a guardian because he does not look like he's homeless. He does not look like he's out here on the streets or whatnot. So he was staying with somebody. And I'm sure that somebody knew that he was already wanted by the police. You know what I'm saying? So you must also understand that you have some people in this crazy society that we live in thinking that children that cuss and pack guns, that's cute. But it's not cute when somebody winds up getting killed. Now, lo and behold, Vincent Oliver Jr. killed two women just a few days ago. And I couldn't get this story to you all just a couple of days ago because, of course, Thanksgiving was yesterday. And also traveling, to, you know, to meet my family and friends and whatnot. So I'm giving you all the story today. But anyway, we'll break the rest down as I read a snippet from this story. I'm going to read a quick snippet from this story. And I am going to get my opinion. All of it. Mm. Surely, as we go, 14-year-old Alabama murder suspect arrested for allegedly killing two women. It's no allegedly. They got him committing the act. And it's a crying damn shame what really happened. I mean, why would a 14-year-old boy be in the midst of 20-year-olds and also a 21-year-old? Why is a 14-year-old teen around these young adults? That's what I want to know right there. Because 20 and uh 21 is kind of far from 14. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you have in common? So why was Vincent Oliver Jr. even at this get-together? Now, I don't know if it was a family get-together or whatever, but the point is, if you are at a get-together, 
unless you police, unless you U.S. Marshals or whatnot, why do you have a gun if you're a kid? That's what I want to know right there. Why do you have a gun? And when I first seen this story, I actually thought this story was coming out of Chicago because that's how them Chicago kids be dressed or whatnot. And taking pictures like they hold guns thinking that that mess is cute. And then one of them get killed. They want us to do a story and do a GoFundMe about it. But ain't nothing cute about that. But anyway, police in Alabama say a 14-year-old boy suspected in the fatal shooting of two women has been arrested. He may be charged as an adult. And I want to ask you all this right here for those who are listening. Do you think that Vincent Oliver Jr. should be charged as an adult? My question is this right here. I mean... Was he not being an adult? I mean, when you put these guns in your hand, are you not taking on a role of an adult? So, yes, he should be charged as an adult. That's my opinion. I'm asking you for yours, so please let me know in the comment section what you all think. Because if he had this much hell in him, and some of these people you cannot change, you must understand that. Now, I'm not saying, you know, uh, lock him up, throw away the key. But the chances are, if he get out, he's going to be the same damn way because he didn't get this way overnight. That's why I want you all to understand right there. Let me say it again. Vincent Oliver Jr. did not get this way overnight. This has been a long time coming. And like I say, who in the hell is his parents? Who is the pappy and who is the mammy? Because evidently they wasn't doing their damn job. If that makes somebody mad, shame on you. Because guess what? What if that was your two daughters right there that was gunned down by this young thug? Let's just be for real. Anyway, let's continue. Now, 14-year-old Vincent Oliver Jr. was taken into custody Monday on charges of capital murder, according to the Dalton Police Department, and will be detained at the Southeast Alabama Diversion Center. And also the question I want to ask Dalton Police Department is this right here. If this guy was already wanted and everything, he had warrants out ever since July. And the last time I checked, and no offense to anybody in Dalton, Alabama or whatnot, but the last time I checked, Dalton, Alabama is not some metropolitan city. It's not like it's the size of Houston, New York, L.A., or Chicago. So what I'm saying is right here. If y'all can find 14-year-olds committing crimes in these major cities, why in the hell it took so long to catch up with Vincent? And the only way y'all caught up with him was because he ended up killing two other people. And also, the signs was already there. If he already discharged a gun shooting out of vehicles into other vehicles, what that tell you all? This guy is very violent. I mean, he does not have to be 24 or 34 to be very violent. You know what I'm saying? You can be just as violent at the age of 12 as you can 36. It just depends on what you do. Anyway, let's continue. Now, Oliver Jr. was wanted in relation to the killings of 21-year-old Jasmine Danielle Bean. And uh, it's strange what her boyfriend said, what her ex-boyfriend said about like she felt like, you know, something was going to happen to her or whatnot. Her, her exact words to me were exactly what she told me was. She said, she said, I feel like my time coming. She said she just didn't know when. Those are what you call signs. That was God trying to tell her something that, look, your time is almost up. Now, true enough, you might say 21 is young. It is young. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not 21 or nothing like that. Past that. So it is young. But, you know, you have babies die when they first born. You have uh, one-year-olds get killed or whatnot. It's a sad world we live in. But what I'm trying to say is this right here is that when God is telling you something, you must take heed and listen. So evidently, she was listening. And it's sad that it had to end this way. But I'm sure she didn't know which way it was coming from because when you start getting those ill feelings, that's the most high. That's the Lord trying to tell you something. Look, get your soul in order and get that ticket because the train is coming. And guess what? Whether you got the ticket or not, the train is going to leave with you or without you. Anyway, let's continue. Now, Oliver was wanted in relation to the killings of 21-year-old Jasmine Danielle Bean and also 20-year-old Jalexis Wells. And my heart goes out to these young ladies. Now, the two women were fatally shot Sunday night in a Doden home. So how you all have a gathering or whatnot, a little party, and then you have a 14-year-old boy packing guns and end up killing two women. So was he targeting these two women or whatnot? That's why I want to know. Was it an altercation going on? Did he have some kind of beef? Or was he just simply looking for somebody to kill? Because that's exactly what it sounds like. But like I told you all earlier, who in the hell was giving Vincent these guns? Who in the hell was taking these damn pictures? That's what the police need to investigate. And also, once again, shame on the Dalton Police Department in Alabama because you all clearly dropped the ball. How you all let a guy running around on social media taking pictures and videos with different weapons, all kinds of weapons or whatnot. He's already wanted, and he already was shooting at people. And you mean to tell me that you all cannot find a 14-year-old boy, and then later on, a few months later, he ended up killing two other people? What did you all think was going to happen? But anyway, I'm going to leave you all this right here. You know, is that we never know when the time or the hour is or the day when we're going to leave this earth. So my thing is this right here. Make sure your soul is intact. Make sure that you are doing everything right. Because guess what? We cannot prevent death. But guess what? When it does come, at least your soul can be prepared. Now, true enough, they may sound crazy to some of you all. They may sound foreign to some of you all. But what I'm trying to say is this right here. 
is that we live in some strange and crazy times. So since we can't prevent death, just make sure when it comes that your soul is in order. And once again, my condolences goes out to the family of Jalexis and also to Jasmine because it's very sad what happened to these two women. And also, I want to ask you all once again in closing, what do you think should happen to Vincent Oliver Jr.? Do you think he should be charged as an adult or do you think he should be charged as a juvenile? Please let me know in the comment section. But anyway, you all let me know what you think about this story. If there's anything I may have missed or misinformed, which is not my true intent, please let me know in the comment section or you can email me. We can talk about it more there. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member. Also, share the video with your family and friends. Till next time, you all stay blessed. And I will see you all soon on the next Trey King Show. And guess what? I'm out.